afternoon, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for uh, Wednesday's trading session, the 6th of September 2017. Please be sure to visit TradeSignal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so let's bring you the stats. Asian markets overnight, certainly reacting to the, uh, the uh, late sell-off in the uh, US session yesterday. Quite a substantial sell-off as well, okay? Certainly under pressure, quite substantially, with the S&P off almost a percentage point. The Nasdaq down almost 100 pips. In terms of European session this morning, we have the FTSE down 40 points, the DAC down 11, the CAC down 10, FTSE MIB higher. European uh, equity certainly faring better on the back of uh, expectations of Mr Draghi, uh, which really was expected. Uh, he is due to speak tomorrow and uh, we are looking for him to uh, potentially talk down the euro. So certainly get, bear that in mind, okay? So euro certainly subdued to a large extent uh, on the back of Mr Draghi's expectations of talking down the euro. Uh, again, North Korean concerns still remain in the background. We have DACA concerns as well, given the fact that Mr Sessions certainly gave a speech yesterday and obviously uh, immigration is a big thing. And given the fact that Mr Trump certainly seems to go ahead with this uh, highly... Uh, uh, controversial, uh, racist, racist, xenophobic. Really, that's just the uh, the ten. That's his tenor. Really, that's the uh, platform that he certainly stood on. Uh, a neo-Nazi, uh, triple K, KKK, Ku Klux Klan, uh, a style uh, white supremacist uh, platform. Uh, even though he has uh, Bannon gone, uh, to a large extent, he's still uh, contacting him, still seeking advice for him, and, and he's more influential on the outside than he is in. Okay, so again. Uh, we have a racist, we have a, a fascist, a bigot, uh, a Nazi uh, running uh, America at present, and obviously that's having ramifications. Now, whether or not this DACA bill will certainly be the end of Trump, we don't know. Uh, he's he's committed uh, every single crime in the book thus far. I mean, you can you can from stating that you can grab a woman's private parts uh, to accusing protesters of being terrorists, etc., with regards to Charlottesville, so on and so forth. I mean, you've certainly lost count, okay, uh, given his misdemeanors. Uh, and uh, if anybody else did that, if Obama did that, he'd be out, okay? So it certainly seems to be a very racist type of uh, scenario in America at present. And the world looks on. Uh, silence is complicity as well. So again, if you're not speaking up against it, from my perspective and from a lot of people's perspective, you're certainly complicit in that as well. So it is our duty to certainly speak up against it, okay? Uh, that's what a democracy is, that's what freedom of speech is, okay? Uh, and if you remain silent, then you're not exercising that at all. Uh, and those rights that people have obviously died for, for us to uh, obviously be allowed to speak. So again, my perspective, and I've said this since 2016, towards the end, I certainly didn't forecast him to win. Uh, I, did, I didn't personally believe America was as racist, but I was certainly shocked and surprised. Okay, so basically what we're concluding here is that DACA certainly will hurt Europe, US equities, uh, but I think that the European equities certainly will stand to benefit as money will rotate towards there. Okay, so the conclusion really is that Mr. Trump is a racist and a bigot, and really it's a self-destructing for his own economy. The only thing that's keeping the markets alive are number one, Trump's algos, illegal algos, everybody's engaging them, known as the PPT, the Front Protection Team certainly will uh, force the equity markets higher. And number two on the fact that uh, people are still uh, buying into that uh, carrot dangling tax potential reform and uh, infrastructure spending as well. Fiscal stimulus, basically. And that remains a status quo. Now, the other thing that people missed out on yesterday as well, which was quite bullish, was the fact that Brainard and Kashkari were both certainly very, very dovish, which in turn has sent the dollar lower as well. Dollar lower, hence the reason why you're seeing oil prices at 49, copper higher as well. So you can see a dollar index certainly crashing or certainly plunging. Whether or not we hold is FIB 75% now or we potentially could plunge to new lows. So keep an eye on the dollar index as well. That will certainly have an effect. Okay, in terms of European equities, economic data today, let's just quickly go over that. Uh, Australian GDP numbers overnight certainly missed expectations. So again, a cause for concern. German factory orders this morning certainly coming in weaker. Retail sales from Italy certainly coming in weaker as well. We did have uh, market PMI data as well for the rest of the Eurozone. France, EU certainly weaker, Germany certainly slightly stronger, but again that was offset by the weaker factory orders and obviously weaker Italian data as well. Uh, in terms of the rest of the day, we're looking forward to mortgage applications and trade balance from the US, uh, Canadian imports, exports and merchandise trade, so again that will be a market mover globally. Uh, Redbook, 
not much of a market mover, but we have market services, PMI, composite and services and the ISM as well. Uh, Bank of Canada rate decision. Uh, again, watch out for that 3 p.m. That will be very market moving, especially with regards to USD card and the impact that it'll have on the dollar. Fed's beige book in the evening and then obviously API crude uh, as well, given the fact that we have Hurricane Irma and uh, Hurricane Contrida. OK, so again, let's look at the technical uh, outset now for the uh, German DAX. From my perspective, going into Draghi tomorrow, Draghi is a big wild card. Uh, my interp interpretation with regards to Mr. Draghi, I think I'll discuss that in the afternoon a video because I want this video is already long enough now. I want to keep it short and brief. A German DAX, from my perspective, certainly is coiling up for an inverted head and shoulders, and that's my opinion, okay? And if an inverted head and shoulders for a pattern is certainly coiling here, we are looking for Mr. Draghi to certainly uh, exercise the dovish stance, which I think he will, okay, given the fact that Euro obviously has tested, what, 1.2. Um, inflation really is uh, non-existent. And it certainly is a, a battle of uh, disinflation, a fight against disinflation globally, okay? Uh, with the dollar index certainly plunging as well, sending the euro higher. And Mr. Draghi certainly can't tolerate that at all, okay? Because it derails his uh, QE plans, okay, of success. So, again, looking for 12,600, 12,700 in the German DAX, in my opinion, in looking for inverted head and shoulders. Uh, IHS pattern here equals the neckline. At 12,300, let's just make it easy. Uh, your pivot low, which is your hair and uh, neck, is 11,850. Um, uh, head 11,850, neckline 11, 12,300. So you're looking at 450. Uh, so 12,750, okay, on the upside. So that certainly makes sense mathematically as well, okay. So 12,750 on the upside, that's your inverted head and shoulders target. Move to the 60 minute chart here. Obviously, that's based on the fact that Mr. Draghi talks a euro down. Uh, 12,050 certainly being held. So, bulls certainly uh, defending this uh, pattern. We did get a higher high. So, obviously, bear that in mind. And that's even with North Korea in the background. So, again, certainly something to ponder over. Uh, moving on to the 10 minute chart on the German DAX here. You're certainly finding resistance at gap fill. So, impressive thrust higher. Even though you gap low on the back of a weaker US market, the German DAX ignored that. Showed strength, resilience. And again, it certainly seems to be short covering going into Mr. Draghi tomorrow. Nobody wants to be caught short if he's dovish, okay? French CAC at the moment, again, same type of pattern, looking to potentially close a gap at 50985. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how US markets or US equities trade today, especially with Mr. Kashkari, uh, certainly dovish, and uh, Brainard as well, okay? Going forward, a weaker dollar certainly helps the uh, the actual index. FTSE 100 certainly finding double bottom support here now, okay? So looking for a potential thrust higher, your initial thrust will find resistance at 7350 and then you're looking for resistance at 7375 looking for gap fill so let's see uh, let's see if we can find that and let's see if we can target that that'll be my initial target in the FTSE 7375 on the FTSE itself 60 minute chart you can see now we are into uh, key key support here if this uh, support were to go then the next level of support is uh, seen at 7300 and let's see if we can hold that level okay so uh, daily chart as well certainly into uh, uh, support territory um, major support in this zone here for the FTSE 100 quite a um, substantial retracement here and let's see if this uh, this certainly holds okay that's the status quo with regards to the FTSE okay I think that's a market wrap this video is long enough please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of that bonus goodbye now